For this video, we're gonna walk around Playa del Rey. Oh, hi, Mac. What's up, Vachero fam? Welcome back to my channel. We'd like to experience everything that life has to offer. We're gonna do kind of a unique idea or concept for this video. We're gonna walk around Playa del Rey. No crazy jump cuts, no crazy fast-paced editing. Just a nice, fun video of walking around, checking out the scenery, all the shops, establishments, and more. So the Playa del Rey Center is a super cool spot with all these different food establishments in terms of the good pizza, Subway, Yum Yum Donuts. In addition, there's a post office here, some music lessons, and a bunch of cool shops to check out. Next up, we're gonna head to this super beautiful viewpoint to overlook Playa del Rey.
chilling at this stoplight right now, just waiting a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it's more cloudy than I want it to be because uh, the sunset, especially in this area, is stunning. It's super beautiful, but hopefully we can still see uh, a decent sunset with the clouds up at the top of this huge hill. Quick side note, I wanna know for all my dedicated subscribers, do you like this format better than my typical vlogs? Typically, it's almost like a highlight reel where I go to a given area and like get a bunch of shots and it's kind of like one quick cut after another. I'm trying a new format for this video where it's more slow, more walking, you know, I'm using a stabilizer when typically I just use my phone and that's it. Just kind of like walking around taking it easy it's a saturday today so i'm like rather than go out and like do some crazy i don't know bar hopping video or something i'm like what if i just went for a walk use my stabilizer which i haven't used in a while actually so it definitely took a little bit to get uh used to again but man so beautiful out like i said the perfect amount of cold wear i don't feel like i'm gonna be like sweating too much especially when wearing this and everything, but it's beautiful. So I'm currently taking the uh, 
the scenic route to walk to town. There's a couple different ways to get there. One is a bit quicker than others, but this route that we're on right now, I mean, these houses are super beautiful. Like I feel like when I first moved to LA, I guess even backing up when I was in Boston and I thought about like living in LA, I feel like this is kind of what I picture, like palm trees, beautiful skies, all these like insanely nice houses and everything. Of course, crazy cars and everything, but a very like, California West Coast style feel. So this, in my opinion, is one of the coolest views in all of Playa del Rey. Walked a little bit around the hills up there, just for the views. Then went back down here. If that's the right way to word that down here. I don't know, but anyway, now we're heading to the center of town. So we're officially at the center of town. We'll see if we get a good sunset. Here's a picture I took maybe about, I think eight months ago of when I was downtown. Perfect sunset, super beautiful and everything. Like I said, it's a bit cloudy today, so I'm hoping we get a good one, at least one that's kind of visible.
This bar right behind me, Prince of Wales, is one of the most iconic bars in this entire area. So let's go inside and grab a drink. So I will say it's about 4.30 p.m. on a Saturday, so it's a bit empty right now, but I'm telling you on Friday and Saturday nights, pretty much any night of the week, this place is crazy packed. We have one section right here with a bunch of places to sit and have a drink. And then we have another section back here with a bunch of places to sit, some TVs, and a ping pong table. Awesome popping into Prince Wales. Like I said, very iconic spot in this area. One thing I gotta say about daylight savings, it had a $15 minimum on the card. So I was like, oh, I'll get a beer and a shot. Was there for only a little bit, came outside, and now it's like already dark. Like, I don't know how it gets dark so quick when it comes to daylight savings, when it comes to the switch up. Because uh, I think today I saw the sunset time was around, I believe, 4.46 p.m. And I feel like I was in there for only like 10 or 15 minutes and it switched from beautiful skies and everything to just, now it's kind of dark. So, pretty sweet. So right now we're in the Matilia Village Center. We got a sushi spot, a post office as well, a barber shop, a bar in terms of uh, drinks and some food and everything. So it's cool that there's a bunch of like little hidden gems. I feel like when it comes to Playa del Rey, it's a very unique area. I feel like when it comes to Los Angeles, which is why I'm doing this kind of like low key casual video about it because I was even talking to a guy at the bar at Prince of Wales. And we were talking about this area being like, look, I feel like not a lot of people know about it because everyone's like, Things about Santa Monica or Venice or, of course, Hollywood or West Hollywood. But this area is super beautiful. Such a hidden gem in L.A. So not only is Prince of Wales a very iconic spot, but the next spot we're about to pop into is called the Harbor Room. And the Harbor Room is the second smallest bar in the entire country. So I feel like for this video, I do have to mention Bakari and Playa Provisions. They're the biggest restaurants kind of in this area where they're pretty well known where people come from like around Los Angeles to come and eat at them. I will say I'm not popping into Bakari and we will be popping into Playa Provisions, but for a different reason, so stay tuned for that. But for now, we're gonna go to the Shack, which is a super underrated spot, especially for their burgers. I gotta say, perfect timing for this video. Those burgers are incredible. And this time might be the best time I've gotten a burger there. The bacon blue cheese burger at the shack. I mean, you saw from the footage, it was just, it was insane. So now we're heading to Pyre Provisions to go to the one, the only grain whiskey bar.
What a great day and night. I don't know if this is a sign of me getting older, but I've noticed I've come to like and look forward to a lot more the idea of like walking all the way to the center. And it's almost like the journey and the destination where, you know, walking there, beautiful views, getting some exercise and everything, of course. And then, of course, kind of popping into different establishments, grabbing a couple drinks, as you saw from starting off at Prince of Wales in terms of having my uh, having some drinks there, and then finishing off at Grain with phenomenal mixed drinks. Being honest, the bartenders are gr at Grain are some of the best mixologists I've ever had, and the drinks they have, they are just, just unbelievable. And also, too, I know I mentioned this, you know, earlier in the video. Let me know if you like this style of filming. Even editing this video it was very simple where I didn't have all this like background music in it and quick cuts and all this kind of stuff. It was a very I don't see I don't I don't want to use the word low effort per se in a negative way, but it was a very kind of easygoing video, and that's the way I want to make it. Just walking around with my stabilizer, showing you all the scenery around Playa del Rey. Or is it Play I think it's Playa del Rey is how it's pronounced actually. I know maybe tomato tomato, but I'm pretty sure it's Playa del Rey. And I got to say, though, it's one of the most underrated areas in L.A. I feel like it's a very hidden gem because, you know, I've said this before that when it comes to L.A., you think about Santa Monica or Hollywood or downtown L.A. or Venice Beach or whatever. But Playa del Rey is a, just a cool little gem with a bunch of cool spots and um, different establishments to check out, especially right in the center. You know, everything from uh, Prince of Wales to Moe's to Bakari, Playa Provisions, Grain, the Harbor Room, as you saw. Um, just so many spots. The shack, of course, gotta say, oh my god, those burgers at the shack. I feel like yesterday was like the perfect timing for this video because that burger they made me was the best burger I've had there. Uh, I've had a bunch of their burgers, but for some reason yesterday it just hit the bacon blue cheese burger. So good. It was only like 10 bucks too. And I think fries were like three or four dollars. So I mean, if you think about it too, ten dollars for an excellent burger, a couple bucks for the fries, right? So like 13 or 14 dollars total. And then the beers there are like five bucks or whatever. I will say at Grain, the drinks are a bit more expensive, but you're kind of also paying for the experience. As a quick side note, huge pro tip for Grain. And I'd say any other like mixology type place is always get bartender's choice. What you do is you say, hey, I like this. I don't like this. And they make you a custom mixed drink on the spot. It's $20 for a drink at Grain. But gotta be honest, when it comes to here in LA, I feel like that's not that unreasonable. Like $20, if anything, that's pretty cheap sometimes with what you get. And typically what I do when I go to Grain, all the bartenders there are amazing, is I just say, hey, you know what? Make me something weird. I'm the least picky drinker in the world. Make me the weirdest, funkiest, most bizarre drink you can think of. And it allows me to try all these different alcohols from obviously typical ones like vodka and gin to the more rare ones like Cacique or Cachaca or um, like Fire Rum, like the Jamaican funk. Super, super unique stuff. So what a great video, such a fun time walking around, and of course, you know, getting all the shots, I guess pun intended too, because I was getting shots with the camera, and then of course, taking some shots at the bars. I also tried, by the way, this tequila, I think it's pronounced Nusotros, I believe, if I'm uh, saying that, I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's actually tequila from here. As far as I understand it, one of my bartenders was explaining this to me, it was like a college project of uh, these students, you know, just making their own tequila, just as like a... I don't know if it was like a business or an entrepreneurship thing, but the tequila got very popular and it's from Playa del Rey. That tequila is one of the best tequilas I've had in a long time. So just overall, such a fun day. And like I said, tell me what you think about this video. Do you prefer this kind of very easygoing format? Do you prefer my other format of like really quick cuts and my typical vlog style? Or do you like a combination of the two?